So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take the government test for the home kit that gets sent out if you think you are suspected of having um, COVID-19. So the first thing you have to do before you do anything else, before you unpackage the parcel that you receive, this uh, plastic parcel, is you need a surface and you need it completely clean. So you need to disinfect an area. So now that I got the area completely clean, disinfected, you have to make sure that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with an antibacterial soap which I've just done, then you can take out the contents of the envelope that comes in the post. So you have, first of all, you have the box. The testing swab. Plastic bags and the instruction booklet. Okay, so this is the coronavirus COVID-19 home test. Thank you for taking the time to complete your coronavirus home testing kit and helping to keep yourself and others safe. Before you start, read through the pages to make sure that you understand each step, how to complete the home test. First thing you have to do is book the free courier collection of your home test sample complete as, complete as soon as possible. Now that is something that I have already done because also inside here you will receive this for um, the collection which is the sticker that goes on the outside of the box. You have a security seal, token box, brake seal and lift flap and you also have these little barcode stickers. So this test can be conducted on multiple age levels. Please follow this guide for who should administer the test. 18 plus years old, self-administered test unless unable to do so. 12 to 17, self-administer test with adult supervision. 11 years or under, adult to administer test on child. Call 111 if you're worried about a baby, blah, blah, blah. Important, wash your hands thoroughly before handling the contents of the home test kit. Only take this test if package is addressed to you. If multiple people, multiple people are in the same household or completing tests, all five steps you will need to, to be done for each person. I can't hardly read. If conducting on someone else, including children, extra instructions are provided as part of step 38. Okay, so there's also there's all the telephone numbers, free phone numbers and everything. So step one is to book the collection of your home test sample. Complete the collection process separately for each person being tested. If you are completing tests for multiple people in the household, each test kit will need to have a courier pickup booked and have the test kit registered separately. Okay, that might be a bit of a pain, but I can see the point of that, so they can't get mixed up. As soon as you receive this home test kit, book a free registered courier to collect the test sample that you provide. So what I did was I went to collections at royalmail.com You'll be asked to enter the barcode number, ex excluding the hashtag signs or whatever. So I went onto the website, very, very easy. They have a special COVID-19 test pickup um, webpage for it. And what you have to do is type in the number. So when you get your tracked, it comes with the barcode and the number and everything on there there on the barcode so you just put in the zd and then the number now when you put this in as soon as you put in the zd it starts coming up with saying that this is the wrong number and i was like oh okay but no keep continuing to type in the entire number letters as well including the zero gb 
and then it comes up then the sign says it's fine so it's a bit misleading because as soon as you start typing in it comes up whoop with big red letters oh it's wrong it's wrong just keep typing in the rest of the barcode number and it's fine it comes up at the end and it'll come up saying fine just follow the instructions step by step and it's done this is booked now for tomorrow between eight and four <coughs> So for some time tomorrow, between eight and four, that's where you're gonna come. So that's very easy. Right. Uh, right, taking the test from 9 p.m. in the night before 7 a.m. in the morning of collection. Collection between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. on your book day, so it's coming tomorrow. The te those test kits are time sensitive and expire after 48 hours of the swab being taken. That is why you need to complete your test as close to the courier pickup as possible. If your sample is completed too early, the lab may not be able to give you an accurate result. So that's step one. So you get it booked. It's very easy. You don't have to go printing anything out or anything at all. It's all done online. So register your home test kit. So the next thing you need to do, you will not receive your results if you do not register your home test kit. Register your kit just before you take the test. For best experiences, complete the registration process on your smartphone. So the first thing you have to do is go to the um, Gov website. So I'm gonna do that on my iPad. Okay, so I've typed in the web page that you see there. Make sure that you put in www dot first because I had difficulties in finding it until I put in www dot gov dot uk forward slash register hyphen home hyphen test and there we go that it is so it says start now so that's what the page looks like register a home test kit and start now so have you booked your courier yes enter your home barcode scan my barcode okay all right so you, you scan that continue there's a problem enter a correct barcode Right, okay, so that's fine. So it's that. That's yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what it's ask what it's asking for. It's asking for my first name and my last name, continue gender. Uh, what is your ethnic group? Which one best describes your white background? Uh one. Do you have any symptoms of, of coronavirus? Yes, I have at least one. Date of birth. Type in that in. When will you take the swab test? Uh, today. Enter the time. Uh, done. Enter now between 1 and 12. Oh. Done. Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. And then it asks you to type in your email address. Okay. Then it asks for your mobile number. And to confirm your mobile number. Do you have a landline number? Yes. Then it asks you to put it in. What country do you live in? in? Enter your home postcode. Do you know your NHS number? No, I don't know my NHS number. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. Right, check your answers, then you give a list of all the answers that you've given and if you want to change anything, save and continue, test kits you've added, blah blah blah.
once you've registered all the test kits for, for the people you live in, you can confirm. So there we go, confirm. Security check, make sure that you're not a robot. Select all images with traffic lights. Uh, huh. <coughs> Thank you, I'm not a robot. Save and continue. Right, so the registration is confirmed. Take the swab sample at the time, right. So that seems to be taking the most of the time is the registration for it, but there we go, it's all done. Home test kit registration completed. Right. There we go. There is also instructional videos online on how to do it, so um, you can use the instructions online. Okay, let's get back to the kit. Okay, register your home test kit. Yes, completed. Complete the online form and the details of the person done. You will need barcode number from the pack of four identical barcodes. Oh, there we go, that one. Mm -hmm. Step three, take a sample from your nose, from your throat and nose. Are you ready to take the test? Is it between 9 p.m. the night before and 7 a.m. of the day of the courier? If yes, follow the instructions below to take your sample. Taking the test, you will feel a little uncomfortable, unusual for most people, but please follow the instructions. That is vital to get a good sample for the lab to process. If you admission the test on a child or someone else, please step 3B, pages 10 to 16. So, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. So uh, the rest of the book is uh, how to complete the test. Um, if you're doing it for a child, blah, 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 but I'm not doing it for myself. This step should take five to 10 minutes. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds using soap and warm water. Clean and dry a surface to place the home test kit on. Unpack everything from the kit onto a clean surface, which I, just, which I did. Check that your kit contains the following items, instruction booklets, Barcode labels, blah, 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 blah. We've done all that. Next page. Take your sample from uh, your nose and throat. Use a mirror to look at the inside of your mouth and find your tonsils. This is the area where you will swab. If your tonsils are removed, you will swab where they would have been. <coughs> Gently blow your nose and cough into a tissue. Throw the tissue into a bin. Open the swab package E. which is this. Uh, G is the uh, absorbent material. Mm -hmm. One biohazard bag with a silver seal. Okay. One biohazard bag with a silver seal and the return, but all right, okay. Uh, right. If your tonsils are removed, you will swab where they would have been, right, okay. Open the swab package and take out the swab. The same swab will be used on your throat and mouth. Oh. Throat swab. Holding the swab in your hand, open your mouth and gently rub the swab over both tonsils and the back of the throat for 10 seconds using the mirror may help you to do this. Remove the swab from the back of your throat. Put the same end of the same swab gently into your nostril, about one. Oh, so you use the same stick. Right, okay. Right, once you do that, let's carry on reading. Uh, back of the mouth, gently rub the swab over tonsils. 10 seconds using a mirror may help you to do this. Remove the swab from the back of the throat. Put the same end of the same swab gently into your nostril, about one inch, 2.5 centimeters until you feel some resistance. We'll take the swab for 10 to 15 seconds and slowly remove it. This may be uncomfortable. Do not insert the swab any deeper, otherwise you might poke your brains out. 
Place the swab into a plastic into the plastic viral F with the fabric tip facing down and snap off the other end of the swab so that it fits inside the vial. Then put the lid on the vial, back on the vial, making sure it is securely fastened. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds using soap and warm water. Right, okay. So, there is the swab, there is the vial, it has a liquid in it. We rewash my hands. Obviously, because I'm recording this as well, I disinfected my phone completely as well, taken off the covers and disinfected it. And that's all clean as well. Oh. Okay, let's open up. Peel here. Put the vial there. Let's get me swab and let's do it. So I'm not gonna show everything of this video, but uh, I'm gonna do my throat first. Okay, let's do the nose bit. Again, I'm not gonna show you this, ha ha. That makes you eyes water. Oh, that makes you eyes water. <laughs> Look at that. No. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Ugh. Okay, let's go back to it. Okay, put this down in to the vial. snaps off down there put the lid on oh my nose is still thingy majigging place the swab in the plastic vial the fabric to facing down and snap off down there it's securely fastened wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with warm water after taking the sample centrally peel off one of the barcode labels from B Okay, which is this, and stick it centrally and vertically on the plastic vial as shown in figure one. Two came off. Done that. Place the plastic vial F and the sheet of absorbent material inside the plastic bag. So that's for the absorbent material. That's your test. Inside, seal it up. Now place the plastic bag inside the biohazard bag. Seal the bag using the silver seal. There we go, that is now sealed. Peel off another barcode from the sheet and stick on the outside of the sealed biohazard bag. So peeled off another sticker, put that there on it. You will have a barcode remaining at the end of the test. Please keep for your reference in case you need to track your test results. Okay, so I can keep them. Put the sealed bag into the return box and close box securely. 
if you can wipe down the box with an antiseptic wipe okay so this is the box <sighs> just follow the folds on the box Okay, so this is making up the box. But it's like, all right, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So that goes like that, then that goes down there. Let's see what's in. Okay, if you've watched Blue Pizza as a kid, you'll be fine. Right, okay. There's my little box. Got your test kit inside. Seal it up. All right, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, apply security seal here. So this is the uh, security seal. That's the security seal. Place the seal, done that. Peel off the Royal Mail return label to the outside of the box. Be sure not to cover the UN3373 cover. All right, okay, so I guess you put the sticker there. Right, step four, make sure you are following self-isolation guidelines, yes, yes, yes. When the courier arrives, please provide them with your sealed return box. Follow them in the government social list. The courier will knock on the door and then move at least two metres away. When they have moved away, open your door, place the package test kit outside of your door and close the door. The courier will then collect the package and deliver it to a test laboratory. Do not test take your test to the post office and then it says then step five receive your te your test results by text message and then that's it so okay god it's a bit of a step by step but hopefully that will give you some insight on what to do now from the very beginning of the outbreak of everything i have been um Part of, I'm going to just get the app up. This COVID 19 uh, daily, I, I've only done it today, but uh, COVID 19. I've been doing this since the beginning of the lockdown, or even just before I found it. And every day I've been filling it in, but unfortunately I've been feeling not very well and I've chest is a bit kind of sore and I'm losing my sense of taste and smell and my head's fuzzy and anyway I followed the step by steps on this and it said I should report sorry request God, I tell you what um, request the COVID test so that's what I've done and that's what I've done for you guys to show you and I'll send it off and I'll post the results um, in the description of this video at some point when I um, get the results back so so there we go thank you very much for watching please stay safe take this seriously for goodness sake and just and just stay safe so yep I'll speak to you guys very soon